Okay. Hey world, my name is Evan Mendenhall. I'm not a success coach, but I like to pretend I am. I motivate all my friends and I read cool self-help books all the time. For instance, I can throw out a quote such as, Life is not easy. Life is tough. But when you're tough on yourself, life is going to be infinitely easier on you. Now, it's actually true, as it turns out. To be tough on yourself, get some disciplines going. One discipline leads to a new one that improves your sense of self-worth. And the greatest source of misery in the world is self-misery. You know, that's, that's the source. You need to start building disciplines in your life, building good habits, and you just feel better. Your self-esteem goes up, and you have more energy. Your vitality increases. Be tough on yourself. Life will be infinitely easier on you, you know. Learn to make challenges opportunities. Don't wish things were easier. You know, wish you were better. Get more skills. Read another book. Okay, don't ask for another day off. Ask for another book. You want a better answer? Ask a better question. Don't say, why do all these things always happen to me? I don't know. The best I got is uh, these sort of things always happen to people like you, you know. And people like me, too, when, when I was uh, more negative, in, in a sense. But it's all about just turning your, your mind more positive and just keep going. Instead of, uh, instead of asking questions like that, why don't you say, how can I enjoy my job and make a lot of profit? How can I reach more people with less effort and have more energy to enjoy my family? Okay, these are the things that get your mind stimulated. The God, you know, God uh, came out with the great one. He said, seek and you will find. Okay, he didn't say bumble through earth just trying to hold on to one more year, you know, hanging on there. No, 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 it's, it's about, what do I want in life? Well, let me ask that question, figure out what that is, hold that image in my mind, and start gravitating towards it, because it's an absolute fact that we become like the image of ourselves in our thoughts. So, that's just, it's just something that allows us to become who we want to be. It's good stuff. So, America, and the rest of the world, let me tell you, that uh, a lot of people say that they'll do something when they feel motivated to do it, but they got it backwards. Okay, this is right from Zig Ziglar stuff. You know, I didn't know any of this. Uh, this success leaves clues. They're fundamentals. Success isn't any creation of man. Okay, it's just how it works. Success leaves clues. And uh, what I was going to say there was, hang on, lost the train of thought. That's okay. That's okay to do that. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. So. So people say they'll do something when they're motivated to do it. The thing is, when you do something, then you will become motivated to do it. Motivation literally follows the action. It seems strange, right? You don't want to clean your room, you don't want to do the laundry, you don't want to do your homework, whatever it is. If you just start doing it, push back the initial resistance. That will make you grow in capacity. And as soon as you begin to do that, you will feel motivated to do it. It's really interesting. Give it a shot. You know, what do you have to lose? Other than time that you would have been spent Spending procrastinating. Yeah, that's what you have to lose. Uh, you have everything to gain in this activity. Find something you don't want to do and just start doing it, and the act of doing it will create the motivation. And that motivation creates energy. And that energy will allow you to keep going. It's, it's really cool stuff. But like I was saying, success is not the creation of any person. Success leaves clues. If you want to be successful, study success. It's been written about, you know, for thousands of years. Shortest history lesson. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. You know, it all reads the same. And when you notice that it all reads the same, you can't blame the world, you can't blame the government, you can't blame your neighbors. If you blame all that stuff, you're blaming all you have. Okay? And to quote Jim Rohn, because I love this, if you blame all you have, I'm telling you, that spells disaster. Mistake colossal, is what he likes to say. It's true. We've got to work with all of this stuff. The miracle of life, the sunshine, the seasons, the rain... You can't say, I want five springs, you know, two summers, no winters. you got to take it like it comes. So if history is not going to change, what needs to change is you. And you do that by beginning one discipline, and you just you stick to it. You work on it, and through persistence, you can turn yourself into the type of person that you want. Set goals for yourself <clears throat> that will make something of you to achieve them. Okay, that is... That is a good statement right there. That is another Jim Rohn-ism. You know, you can set a goal to have $10,000. Okay, that's great. You would then have the $10,000. That's, that's nice. You have zeros in your bank, okay? That'll give you more opportunities to do things that you want, and that's nice. But imagine if you worked for 45 years and you were never able to save $10,000. Your goal is now to, to save $10,000. In doing so, it will make something of you to achieve it. It makes you bigger. And as you learn these lessons, share what you have. 
Because as you share, you read a good book, hey, that changed my life, hey, that turned on the spark, hey, that got me started. Give that to a friend, give it to a family member. And in doing that, you know, you get to share it with them, they, they hear it one time, you get to hear it ten times. You know, it does more for you than it does for them in sharing. Sharing is a very self-interest thing, it's a very good thing to do. That's if you're too lazy to do it out of the good of your heart, which I hope you're not. I hope you can just go and give and, and teach what you can learn. But if you're thinking, hey, what's in it for me? Well, that's in it for you. Okay, The more you share, the more you grow as a person. Your capacity grows. Sometimes you can pour happiness over the whole world, and some people still won't be very happy. Why is that? Well, they're not big enough. Not big enough in comprehension. Not big enough in scope. They can't see. They can't feel. They don't absorb the life. Okay, pour out what you've got, and your capacity will grow. Either way, this is just a short little video I've thrown together with you know a couple things that I learned. Hopefully, it inspires a couple people. Let's you know gets you on the next book, gets you researching Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, all these guys are good guys. And the truth is, you can literally have whatever it is that you want in life. Okay, you can't have everything because there's a lot of stuff to do in the world. But if you say, hey, I want to do this, you can do this, barring some physical abnormality, which would probably prevent you from even watching and understanding this video. If you can understand my words, you can achieve whatever it is that you want. Stories a trillion miles long will, will indicate that. Here's a short one real quick before I gotta go. Uh, I'm sure you guys have probably heard the story of Roger Bannister. Okay, Roger Bannister was uh, an athletic master. He was no doubt extremely skilled. And what he set out to do was to run under a four minute mile. Well, this has never been done in the history of man. Uh, and, I mean, people since the ancient Greeks tried to do this. They recorded themselves, they monitored it. Nobody had ever been able to break a four-minute mile at all. And so Roger Bannister, he was actually a flea trainer, which is kind of interesting. He knew, a little tangent here, but he knew that if you put fleas in a jar, okay, and, you, and the flea will jump, it'll hit its head off the jar, hit its head off the jar, it'll eventually just condition itself to jump so high. If you take the lid off the jar, it's now physically impossible for the, tree, the fleas to get out of that jar because they cannot do it anymore. They can condition this themselves to jump just so high. They can't jump any further. So, man is exactly the same way. For thousands of years, we said, hey, the man cannot run a four-minute mile. The heart would burst. You know, it'll come right out of there. You're, you would die before you'd even finish, you know, if you ever get ahead. Scientists said it was impossible for the human body to do it. So, here comes, uh, you know, Roger Bannister, and he says, I think that's a psychological barrier. He trains, he measures his strides, he has people pacing with him every quarter of the mile, and he trains and trains and trains, and he announces it to the world that he's going to be the first person in history to break the four-minute mile. As it turns out, he does. He runs it in just under four minutes, and it was an astounding feat. Never been done in the history of man. This is the interesting part. By breaking that barrier, he proved that it was not a physical impossibility. And so what happened was other people realized, hey, this could be done by a human body. Within a single month, 32 additional people also broke a four-minute mile, something that had never been done in the history of man. 32 people did it in the next month. From then, people have gone on to run hundreds of these miles. Now, people in high school running under four-minute miles. So when you think you can't get something that you want out of life, it is just a psychological barrier. There are so many negative influences in the world. It's all about keying your brain up to positive thought. The power of just belief in yourself will take you so far, it's incredible. You guys can get whatever it is that you want out of life. Why settle for less? Either way, like I said, my name is Evan Mendenhall, and I just hope that this has you know, gotten to you guys a little bit. If it makes you even smile once, then I'm, I'm very happy that I could reach out to you guys. Good luck with whatever it is that you guys can get. Life will pay whatever price it is that you ask. Okay, if you bargain with life for a penny, that's all you're going to receive. Okay, but if you're unreasonable in your demands and you say, listen, this is what I want out of life, and you focus on that with a belief in yourself, with a burning desire and persistence never to give up, that will manifest in your life. And if you need any, any help on that stuff, consult any of the, uh, the success help books. I'm telling you, that stuff is good. It's all been done before. Okay, we're... I don't, know, I don't care how old you are. We're all relatively young in comparison to the, the human race. And it's all been done. It's all been documented. Success leaves clues, guys. If you want a roadmap, just look into it, and you'll find it. Seek and you will find. All right, guys. Have a good day.